everybody day four um today i am not having that great of a day um just feeling really low and that brings me to the topic of vices and um <clears throat> let me talk louder of vices and negative coping mechanisms so we all have things that we become addicted to even though we say that we're not um things that we use as a way to cope with stress or a way to um hide or push away repress our feelings to not deal with it to distract us from it that could even be things that are normally healthy like fitness for me sometimes you know i'll go on a three hour hike because i don't want to go home and deal with the stress of you know whatever is going on in my life at the time um but right now i'm thinking or i have been leaning on a vice of mine that has been a consistent issue in my life which is drinking alcohol um i haven't been leaning on it as heavily as i used to i've obviously grown and matured and i've become more responsible simply because I'm a grown-up and I can manage it in a way where, you know, it doesn't interfere with my work or it doesn't interfere with my day-to-day -day life, but going home and wanting to drink a six-pack and almost finishing the six-pack is not the way that I want to live my life. And lately I've been really stressed and, you know, like I talked about on day one, how I don't feel like I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be or where I want to be in life, um, that all, all that, all that stress and, you know, my financial stress is out of, out of this world. Uh, that just caused me to be like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna go drink. And so I've been drinking a lot for me, which is, you know, even just three beers at night, um, probably for the last maybe four days, five days. Um, cause I, I, I'm capable, like, I'm pretty self-disciplined when it comes to alcohol and I don't like to rely on it cause it's, it has been an issue in my past where it's caused me a lot of, you know, relationship stress and just you know obviously you don't feel good when you over drink and you're hung over and all that stuff you know I've never had a DUI or anything like that but I notice and I can acknowledge that it has had a negative impact on my life over the years so me relying on it now to kind of put me in a good mood so that I don't focus on the stress in my life is something that I want to notice and I want to avoid so that's why it came up for me. Um, and today I think I just had a really crappy day because I felt guilty or shameful for allowing myself, um, not having the discipline, the mental discipline to say, no, I'm not going to drink. I'm going to sit with my feelings and sit with my emotions and just face them head on, which is... <laughs> obviously the hardest thing to do and that's why people are alcoholics you know that's why people will drink but yeah that's why people are alcoholics people are like no alcoholism just runs in, in people's families sure yeah but don't you think that it's deeper than that my grandfather was a severe alcoholic and I he was also very not a very nice guy I honestly 100,000 percent believe it's because he did not show his emotions he did not talk about how he felt he did not, you know, connect with anybody on an, on an emotional level because he was raised in a family that told him that as a man, you know, being emotional, feeling your emotions, it makes you weak. So having human nature, we feel emotions deeply. That's who we are as people. That's what connects us to the rest of the world. If we always thought rationally, if we were only logical, only reasonable or uh, rational mind all the time i don't like we probably wouldn't have kids i mean we wouldn't form families we wouldn't you know pair up pairing up all that stuff is, is an emotional connection yeah it's also biological to reproduce but it's an emotional thing everything we do is pretty or should be have a little bit of rationality and a little bit of emotion and just be in the wise wise mind um so I honestly wholeheartedly believe that anybody who's addicted to any sort of drug or anything, gambling, uh, shopping, people who just can't control their shopping, chances are the reason why they're shopping that hard that day 
or, you know, they probably had a really shitty week and feel like crap. They don't feel good about themselves, and so they're distracting themselves with new stuff. I used to do, I used to do that too, and if you know me personally, you know I used to do that all the time. Um, but yeah, so I was just thinking about that, and, and thinking too, like, as shameful as I feel, or as guilty as I feel, I also know that it's a huge step to be able to take a step back and be like, hmm, that's why I'm doing that. You know, I, I'm not feeling good about my life. I'm in a place where I don't want to deal with my emotions, and that's why I'm drinking. I'm not, I'm not addicted to it where I'm not, you know, physiologically addicted where I, like, cr crave it, like, oh my god, I need it. Um, but I do feel like I need it sometimes when I just don't feel like facing what I'm going through. So I want to open up the floor to all of you guys out there and you can write in the comment section I would love to hear from you if you're willing and open to talk about it um, but what are your vices are there things that you know when you're feeling low or something happens like you didn't get the job you wanted or your boyfriend breaks up with you or your girlfriend um, breaks up with you or anything like that happens like what do you fall back onto is it alcohol I find it to be alcohol for a lot of the people that I know, um, you know, going out and partying every night, and they're like, no, 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 it's social. But if you really take a step back and look at it from an objective point of view, you know that it's, it, you're overdoing it. And it's probably from something, some sort of feeling of, you know, dissatisfaction with your life. Um, and if you don't feel like you have any vices, that's great. Um, maybe share that with us too. Like, how, how are you capable of really sitting with your emotions and, and just dealing with your stuff? I would love to know, because I'm learning every day and would love some new strategies and tips to do it for myself. So there you go, day four, vices and negative coping mechanisms to deal with stress and emotions. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.